Hey folks, how you guys doing today? Jimmy Roberts here, your local real estate professional. And I just read an article, uh, a recent article in Newsweek uh, regarding the coming market crash. Now I do the coming market crash like that because of you probably already figured it out. I don't think it's happening. Well, long and short of it, let me give you a quick recap. As you guys know, not only have home prices uh, stabilized in a lot of different markets, uh, interest rates have pretty much doubled also over recent months. Now, the combination of those two usually would mean uh, would suggest that there's a significant correction or crash coming uh, in the local real estate market. Well, I got a little bit of different uh, a different spin on that, and this is one of the things that I've been saying for a long time. First off, uh, people always think back to uh, the cra the uh, recession back in six seven two thousand six seven eight nine. Well, long and short of it, we're not there, right? And we're not there for a lot of different reasons. It takes a lot of things to significantly uh, affect on that type of level, on a global level, um, the the market, period. Whether that be the real estate market, stock market, whatever. It takes a lot. Uh, back in 2006, 7, 8, 9, and even actually prior to that, you had a lot of things called exotic uh, exotic mortgages. These were those mortgages that were, you know, basically if you could fog a mirror, you got the mortgage. Not only did you get the mortgage, but, you know, in a lot of cases you were in situations where you were, didn't even have to pay any, uh, any principal in your payments. You were strictly interest only, and that interest was, and that projected payment was based on what you might be making years from now, not what you current, not what your current income is. Long and short of it, those types of things are gone. Those other, and those aren't the other type of exotics, by the way. There are a lot of others. Um, those things are gone, and that's not our current market. Where we are today is a significant shortage of housing. I'm going to repeat that. We are at a significant shortage of real estate housing. Plain and simple. And because we've been that way for years, and because we've been that way, um, even though prices have seen a significant increase over recent years, we still have a significant shortage. Not only do we have a significant shortage for uh, homes that are for sale, we also have that same type of shortage going on in the rental market. And you can see that in the significantly escalating rental prices. So basically we have a different kind of perfect storm going on right now. We've got limited, limited inventory across the board. Again, I'm gonna say that. Limited inventory across the board in versus the sale, resale market, new home sales market, and rental market. So we got those. We have a huge demand for all three. Limited sales and supply in those three markets and combined with a huge demand in all three. So while home values may stabilize, and by the way, when I mean stabilize, as opposed to going up like this, like the, like a rocket, like they were, maybe they'll be more like that, more a little bit more flatter. That's normal. That's the way a market is supposed to be, right? So we're getting back to the way things were. And one last point about that. I know me as a consumer and a mortgage holder and, and, and investor in this particular market. I know I've gotten spoiled, but the reality is interest rates aren't supposed to be 0%. They're interest rates. People lend their money to make money on that money. You're not supposed to be able to uh, get interest rates at like one, 2% like we had been for the past decade. That's not the way it's supposed to be. I know that was done to stimulate the economy. It did. It worked. But a more normal rate is, again, back in that 5, 6, 7, 8 range. As a matter of fact, the average interest rate over the past, if I remember correctly, over the past, what, 15 years or so, is probably about 7%. You'd be hard-pressed to find a 7% interest rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage right now. I mean, you'd have some really bad, bad, bad credit if, if you were at 7%. That's just the way it is, right? Even somebody with average credit right now is going to be in the 5% range, which is still significantly better than it's been on average over the past 20 years. So, you know, let's pump the brakes a little bit about this market crash stuff. 
and let's let's just relax right we are in a changing market for sure but you know everything is not going to hell in a handbasket all right this is jimmy your local real estate professional and i will catch up with you later